Hello and welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe video and welcome to 2019. We are here into the new year, another kind of odd week in markets because yeah, the New Year's Eve day on Monday and then markets closed Tuesday. The volume was so low on Monday, it practically was a closed day. Um, so essentially, let me give you the rundown where we are. Um, I'm recording right now on Thursday in the middle of the market day. And the market's about flat, maybe a little bit down on the week. We were up about 260 on Monday, closed Tuesday. We had gone down 400 Wednesday and then rallied all the way back and ended up, I think, 50 points or so Wednesday. And then now we've been down almost 700 today, and now we're down about 300. So give or take, uh, we're around even on the week. And who knows, maybe we go down another 300 today, maybe we go up 500 tomorrow, I have no idea. This is the nature of the market right now as a lot of technical issues get sorted through and a lot of order flows are, are very distorted for a number of reasons that are somewhat inconsequential to us but um, and a little complicated to explain. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that the various things that have created a lot of instability in the markets are still lingering. I don't expect things to kind of calm down for the next, uh, at least for another week or two. And, and this week, there's still an awful low volume indicating low traders at their desks and things like that. Um, I, next week, will be doing a video, a pretty long one, and a very a comprehensive advice and insights podcast to lay out for you the conclusions and summaries from what I believe is going to end up being a 20 and 25 page white paper that I'm maybe halfway through and wrapping up over this weekend, kind of pouring myself into this weekend, um, our best thoughts around everything that was 2018 and everything that will be 2019, what our perspective is and point of view going into the new year. So I can tell you right now, because we obviously the 2018 is done, that the S&P ended the year down 6.2%, the Dow ended the year down 5.6%, the aggregate bond index somehow, some way, ended the year up 0.1% after spending about 11 and a half months in negative territory. Interest rates dropped enough at the end of December that it brought bond prices up into positive territory, barely. Um, and, and, and inversely, stocks entered November, excuse me, entered December up about 3% on the year and then closed uh, down 6%. So they had like a 9% swing in just the month of December. It was the worst December in a long, long time in the market, as we know, although there was some degree of bounce back from the lows in the final weeks of the year, week or so of the year. Um, so really, the kind of recap I think you're looking for as to what the good, bad, and ugly was in 2018, what it means, where we go from here, what are the key economic barometers that are going to dictate how 2019 goes, what an uh, investor, depending on how opportunistic they want to be or how defensive and guarded they want to be, ought to be doing, where the right values are in the market. Uh, it isn't that I'm holding off on that this week. It's just that those are things we're going to be really fleshing out much more elaborately next week. And so you'll forgive me for not using this week's video to pour into that. Um, I, I do believe that it's going to be very powerful, hard-hitting, potent, valuable, and hopefully educationable uh, material um, that, that you'll benefit from next week. I, I uh, am looking forward to doing all that. So in the meantime, our view, you, you saw that yesterday Apple announced um, uh, early, obviously much before their anticipated quarterly results, they were guiding downward on what their revenue projections were going to be. And they had significant comments about the impact the trade war is having in the global economy. And I think that's very much correct. And I think that uh, you have a couple tailwinds that could come into markets that all right now are headwinds. And that is the, the trade war. It's a tailwind if it's resolved. It's a headwind if it isn't. The Fed and the ease by which, the, the pace by which they reduce their balance sheet, any reversal in the direction they're going there, what is right now a significant headwind for markets and a sort of um, extraction of liquidity in a marketplace that is in desperate need of enhanced credit conditions, it is in desperate need to not feel that credit is going to be kind of starved off from the economy 
uh, that could that right now is a headwind that could turn into a tailwind. And then I also believe that um, that there is further clarity needed on exactly what the appetite is for capital spending, capital expenditures in the business investment domain. If that is not going to be picking up into the middle part of 2019, I think the market's in a lot of trouble. And yet I do believe that it will. I, I uh, want to believe it will, but there are question marks still there around credit markets and around free trade. So those are some of the things we're going to be focusing on in our, in our perspective on 2019. And, and we're going to give you the conclusions as to how we're positioning, how we're asset allocating. Uh, we're never making a call that someone wants to be all in the market or all out the market. But the weightings that we want to put for our clients and the composition we want to have, what types of stocks and bonds and alternatives we want to emphasize as asset allocators is something that we've done an incredible amount of work on the last few weeks. And I believe we are going to be very intelligently positioned for our clients in 2019. And I think you're going to find that 2019 has a lot of deja vu to a couple past years. Um, but I will leave you in suspense as to what those years are. In the meantime, reach out with any questions you may have. Certainly feel free to hit me by email over this weekend if you'd like. Uh, as we go into the new year, there may be other there may be time for me to address some further questions. But next week, we're going to be coming to you with a very long form video, a long advice and insights podcast, our normal dividend cafe, our normal dividend cafe podcast. But then this huge white paper, which, like I said, I expect to be 20 plus pages, bringing you all of our best thoughts on the year ahead and in the year that just was. With that said, happy new year and go Cowboys. Thank you.